handover protocol is one of the most powerful features offered on the Messenger platform. Handover protocol makes it possible to create rich, complex, but human hybrid interaction experiences. So what exactly is handover protocol? Well, let's say you have two apps. One is a straightforward messenger bot. It engages with page visitors and provides them with information in response to predefined queries and keywords. Your other app is a customer service app, which connects to live human operators. Now your first app, the bot, can handle the majority of queries for your page visitors. But there are times when the conversation goes beyond what the bot can follow. Or the visitor selects an option which requests support from a live person. In these situations, it may be desirable to hand over control of the conversation to the other app, which connects the visitor to live human operators. For this, we use handover protocol. Once the support interaction is complete, we can use handover protocol one more time to pass the thread back to the bot. Implementing handover protocol for your messenger bot is simple. To start with, all apps which may handle the messenger bot's conversation should be subscribed to the page's events. We refer to these as receivers. In the page settings, under Messenger Platform, a primary and secondary receiver can be defined. The primary receiver is the app which will handle the interaction by default, while the secondary receiver represents an app which can receive control of the conversation from the primary receiver. It's possible to set up multiple secondary receivers for the conversation to be passed between as required. With the subscriptions and receivers correctly set up, the primary receiver can pass control of the conversation to any one of the other apps at any time. This is done via a call to the Messenger API. Let's have a look at the components of this call. In a post call to the pass thread control endpoint, we include up to three parameters. The first parameter is recipient which identifies the conversation in question, using the page scoped ID of the user. The second parameter is target app ID, which determines to which of the secondary receiver apps to pass the conversation. The third parameter, metadata, is an optional field for passing additional contextual information regarding, for example, the reason why the conversation was passed. Here's a demo. Setting the target app ID to this value passes the conversation to the page inbox, where we can use Facebook's native tools to continue the conversation. The conversation handover process takes place entirely in the background and does not cause any interruption to the flow of the conversation for the visitor. To pass the conversation back to the primary receiver, the human operator can simply click on the Done button which will move the conversation to the Done folder and simultaneously pass thread control back to the primary receiver. A recommended best practice is to notify the visitor that they are being passed over to a live support agent, as well as of any potential delay in the response from the agent. Another recommended best practice is to provide the visitor with an exit command allowing them to switch the conversation back to the bot at any time. Behind the scenes, this is done by issuing another call to the pass thread control endpoint, returning control to the primary receiver app. Handover Protocol opens up a world of possibilities for your messenger bot experience, empowering the creation of complex, multifaceted user interactions.